Welcome to Bible class. We're Welcome. glad you're here. Sing with us. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so were you. So let's all praise the Lord right arm. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so were you. So let's all praise the Lord right arm, left arm. Father Abraham had many sons. And many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so were you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot, Father Abraham. And many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, Father Abraham. And many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Not your head, Father, Father Abraham. Abraham had and many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Not your head, turn around. Father Abraham and many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's, let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left foot, right foot, left foot, nod your head, head, turn around, around sit, sit down. down. Woo. I'm dizzy, Miss Leah. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Um, let's sing If You're Happy and You Know It. Why is the world still spinning? <laughs> if you're happy and you, you know, know it, clap, clap your hands. hands. If, if you're happy, happy and you know it, clap your hands. hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, do oh. all three. Amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Amen. Amen. If, if you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Amen. Amen. Woo. We did oh, it. I got one more for you. Okay. If you're happy and you know it, do it backwards. Amen. Amen. <laughs> If you're happy and you know it, do it backwards. Amen. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do it backwards. Amen. Amen. All right. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> Except you had to think about it so hard you quit singing. <laughs> yep. That's what happens sometimes. Let's take a look at our activity for today. Moving with magnets. First, you're going to need some magnets and a pair of scissors and an empty water bottle and some pipe cleaners. We're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut up our pipe cleaners. Now, make sure to not be using mom's good scissors. These need to be scissors that mom says you can use. Cut all those pipe cleaners up into little bitty pieces. Now that you've got all your pipe cleaners cut up, put some of those in the water bottle. Now, from my experience, don't put all of them in there at one time. Make sure they can move around. They don't get stuck to each other. Then you're going to take the magnet and you're going to draw those pipe cleaners up to the side. They've got a piece of metal inside the fuzzy part of the pipe cleaner and the mag it, they, magnet gets, can move them around. When we are kind to other people, they are attracted to us like the magnet. 
when we are friendly to others. We've got a Bible story today about being friendly to others and how that attracts people to us. Just like the magnet and pipe cleaner. I really like that, how the magnet drew the pieces of pipe cleaner to it. Crazy, huh? I thought, thought that was a pretty neat, neat Mind blown. experience or activity for us to get to do. Let's sing some more songs before we hear our Bible story today, okay? Yeah, singing songs are fun. <laughs> Let's sing the hippo song. Start with that one, okay? God had lots of fun, didn't he? <laughs> he did. In the beginning, God, God made the seas. He made, made the forest full of trees. He made the mountains up so high. And at the top, he placed the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much he cares. And in, in the middle, he had so much fun. He made the hippo who weighs a ton. Hip, 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 hooray, God made all of us. Hip, 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 hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. Faster. In the beginning, oh, God made the whoa. seas. He made the forest full of trees. He made the mountains up so high. And at the top, he placed the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much he cares. And in the middle, he had so much fun. He made the hip who weighed up top. Hip, 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 hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. Hip, 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 hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. Nice. That was fun. God did make all of us. Yeah. He made us also to be friends with one another. To That's be right. To be friendly yeah. with each other. Uh, let's sing The More We Get Together because that is... That is the great thing about friendships when we get together. Yes. And we enjoy get our time together. We have a magnetic together. personality. <laughs> the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. <laughs> Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. I picked up a few of the signs. Did you see that? Just a few. <laughs> a couple Getting of them. There. Yeah, yeah. You're a great good. teacher, Miss Leah. <laughs> Let's sing the books of the New Testament. Our Bible story today is from the New Testament. It's a story that is told by Jesus about Sweet. somebody who was a friend. Great. Matthew, Mark, Luke, Luke and John, John Acts and letters to the Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians and Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus and Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1st and 2nd Peter, 1st and 2nd and 3rd John, Jude and Revelation. You want to do it backwards? Just kidding. <laughs> Early one morning, a merchant left the city of Jerusalem. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop, his donkey walked beside him. The donkey was carrying all the goods the merchant planned to sell. Inside the bags, across the donkey's back, were spices and rugs and incense for his customers at home. Some of the bags held gifts for his wife and children. He had been gone for several days and was tired and weary. He was thinking only of his family and friends as he walked to Jericho. There were many turns in the road from Jerusalem to Jericho. There were rocks behind which robbers could hide and wait for someone to rob. These bad men wanted to steal goods for which they did not work, so they could use them or sell them for a profit. 
they saw the merchant coming towards them. This is a good victim, said one of the robbers. His donkey is loaded with goods from the market in Jerusalem. He is all alone, said another. He will be easy to overcome. Foolish man, if he is not smart enough to travel in a group, it's not our fault he doesn't know better. Let's get him. As the merchant came even with them, they jumped from behind the rocks and attacked the merchant with clubs. These robbers were really mean. They beat the man. They stole his money, his goods, and his donkey. They even stole his clothes. They did not care that he was hurt and dying. The robbers left him beside the road. They thought he was dead. They were in a hurry to get back to Jerusalem to sell all the things they had stolen. The merchant was hurt so badly he could not move. He ached all over. He was bruised. His head hurt. He was very weak. After a while, he came to himself and thought, I hear someone coming. Perhaps they will help me. He did hear someone. It was a priest from the temple. The priest saw the man but did not stop. He walked on by. I can't believe the priest didn't stop to help me, said the man to himself. He is a holy man of God. Why didn't he take me with him? Why wasn't he kind? Why didn't he help me? Step, step, step. He heard someone else coming down the road. Surely this person will help me, he said. Oh, I am in luck. It is a Levite from the temple. But the Levite just looked at the merchant and left him beside the road. What will I do, thought the man. Is no one going to stop and help me? The day had almost ended. If no one finds me, said the wounded man, I will surely die before morning. I am hurt badly. The sun is going down and I am cold. Wait, I can hear the sound of a donkey. I have another chance for help. A man from Samaria rode into view. Oh no, it is a Samaritan, thought the merchant. We Jews are never kind to Samaritans. Why should he help me? He will never stop. I will surely die. The Samaritan was a good man. He saw the merchant and stopped to help him. He washed the man's wounds and put healing oil on them. He bandaged his head. He dressed him in clothes from his packs. He gave him water to drink. He said, Don't worry, I will take care of everything. The good Samaritan lifted the merchant onto the back of his donkey. Hold on, he said. We are not far from the city. I will take you to an inn and take care of you. You need some food and you need to rest. I will spend the night with you and be sure you are all right. And he did. The next morning, the good Samaritan fed the merchant his breakfast and changed his bandages. He told the innkeeper he had to go, but he would pay him to take care of the man until he could travel home. He gave the innkeeper money to pay for the man's lodging, food, and medicine. If for some reason you must spend more on him before he is well enough to travel, do so. When I come this way again, I will pay you whatever it costs. This man's family needs him, and we must get him well. The Samaritan was the one who was a friend. He was the good neighbor. He was the kind and compassionate man to the one who had been hurt and left on the side of the road. We want to be like the Good Samaritan. We may not always have situations like the Good Samaritan, but there are plenty of opportunities that we have to be friendly to others. We are all about to be going back to school, aren't we? Some of us might be starting school from home. Some of us might be going to school in our classrooms. Some might be doing a little of both. Some might start a school at home, but then be heading to their classrooms really soon. And you're gonna have meetings, potentially online with your teachers and your new friends. You're gonna have new friends in your class. It's a great opportunity to be friendly and kind to others. I've got a list of a couple of things that I want you to think about of ways that you can be friendly to others as we head back to school this year. You can be positive. You can show interest in others. Smile. I know we have our masks on a lot these days, but even when you smile, we can see it in your eyes. We can see how happy you are. 
Say hi to other people. Be nice. Use self-control. Share. Focus on others more than yourself. Make eye contact. Keep your word and serve others. And when you do these things and show your friendship to the new students or to other students in your classroom and even your teacher, those students are gonna be drawn to you like the pipe cleaners were drawn to the magnets. And then you will have an opportunity to share your light with others and share what makes you different. And we know what that is, isn't it? It's Jesus. Jesus is what makes us different. In Proverbs 17, 17, the Bible tells us, a friend loves you all the time. We want to be friends that love others all the time. I can't wait to hear about ideas that you have to show friendliness to your new classmates as we start the new school year. Mr. James, you wanna sing another song before we go? I do. All right. <laughs> Let's sing We're about being happy, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me you put you set your up. stuff down? Yep. All right. Here we go. I'm happy, happy today. today. Oh yes, I'm happy today. In Jesus Christ, I'm happy today because He's taken all my sins away, and that's why I'm happy today. Have a great Have week. Have a great week.